Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Whoo, you made it to the end of the week. Hope you all are having a blessed day. So did you all have a chance to check out the uh, video I released yesterday? It's, um, it's a cemetery video and a little bit of a traveling around video. I, uh, I don't know. And, and tell me something, please. I, um, I used to put down what I heard on the spirit box, write it out down at the bottom of the page. But then I, I, I heard another point of view. Someone said that uh, when people do that, it kind of leads them on into thinking what's there. And I, I, I don't want to do that. I want everyone to form their own opinions about stuff. So I didn't write it down. Would you rather I did write out what I heard or leave it the way I did it? Because I heard some good stuff in there and I was so wanting to write it out. And then a couple times I, I did kind of make remarks about what I might have heard. <laughs> and I wanted so much to say, yeah, I heard this, but, uh, oh. So tell me if you like it written out or you'd rather just listen and judge for yourself. Because I honestly don't know what way to take this. But that was, uh, yes, that was quite a trip we had gone on. And that, that cemetery just drained me. From the moment I got there, it was like instant drain. And I was so tired and just almost out of it the whole time there. And, and I think you can kind of hear from Albert talking to me that, you know, I'm not quite myself. Anyway... I just uh, picked the card for the day, and that card is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the best of home and hearth, the warding off of evils of any sort. Romance or unexpected happiness, prosperity, peace and tranquility, the achievement of a dream that leads to wealth and or happiness. It could be country life or possibly a rest after a struggle. The element is fire. Astrological association is Venus and Aries. The number is four number four is the number of stability and balance in the passionate suit of wands it denotes security shown by the protective walls of the card castle in the back and celebration and the cabalistic tree of life the card links with the sphere of love which is why this card is often referred to as the honeymoon. Astrologically, the four wands is linked to the planet Venus in the sign of Aries. This indicates passion, spontaneity, and joie de vivre. Aries, however, 
can be dominating at times, which can make love too intense or driven. This card reveals success after completion, a time for reward. Socially, you will have the opportunity to celebrate and really enjoy yourself. The card predicts you will be brimming with confidence and full of vitality. You also establish yourself in your work and at home, completing a building or remodeling project or moving to a larger property. The vibe of this card is putting down roots, just like the wands. People around you note your willingness to be a pillar of the community and involve yourself in local issues and social events. In your work, your talent is appreciated and you are full of ideas and enthusiasm. Spiritually, the card shows you that you share your light with others. This comes up often in readings that predict that a new partner or love interest will open their hearts and express love and affection. It is also known as the honeymoon card, literally, or as a time to celebrate, run free, and enjoy what life has to offer. It is auspicious for creativity, and artistic projects flourish under the uplifting influence of the Four of Wands. Key meanings are freedom, creativity, and domestic happiness. Now, the inspiration for the card may draw upon two pagan festivals, Beltane, or May Day. If we see the wands as maypoles and the llamas, the Celtic celebration of the first day of the harvest. May Day, held on May 1st, has its origins in the Celtic festival of Beltane, which is celebrated the coming of spring and the end of seed planting. Maypoles, tall wands, were raised in villages where the people danced around them to honor fertility. All right. So there we have it. Now here's a quote for the day. No matter what your choices are, you truly have no control about what people think of you. Nev Campbell said that. And it's very true. Very, very true. But that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed that video last night, be sure to like it and leave a message. No matter how long it is. But anyway, hope you all have a great Friday. Peace. Believe. Have a blessed Friday. Bye-bye.